On March the 2nd, 2021, I made this survey on Instagram to help me decide which of these three photos I was going to paint. The first one not only had many more votes, but it was also the post from my photography account that was shared the most times or republished on other accounts. Today it's still my best-selling photo from stock agencies, and as if this were not enough, it currently appears in almost all search engines as the first reference image if you search for Purma Marga. In this video I want to share the creative process behind this work. I like every video from here on it starts like this. There is no doubt that the photo has had a special reception from the audience. But what makes it special for me is not that reception or the good impact that it has had, which still surprises me, but it's all version that I started in my old studio in Buenos Aires and that I have just finished here in my new studio in Mijas after three years. In fact, not only represents the jump from one side of the Atlantic to the other, but after dealing with a very big artistic frustration recently, this work was a kind of a beacon and guide to take a few steps back and start all over again. It implied going back on an artistic path that I had begun to walk and that seemed to be defining after many years of searching in a way to channel my artistic curiosities in a visual and narrative language with its own style. Basically, the idea is to select, according to my mood and curiosities of the moment, some of the many photos I have from my travels to make an old painting reinterpretation, a version of the picture with a more arty look. Finding your own style and theme is very difficult for any artist to get, but it will be a source of material for another video where I can tell more in detail my path. This new stage of creating new content on my channel starts from a need to share and express my feelings and thoughts beyond the fabric and the lens, to be able to talk about the entire creative process from its conception to designing, talk about ideas, inspirations, techniques, projects, processes, etc. In brief, use this space as an oral source of expression. But let's go back to the photo. It's from my first trip to the north of my country, Argentina, in December 2013. Argentina is a country with a large territory, above all in its extension from the north to the south, and this characteristic gives it a very diverse geography. The north, unlike the south, has the particularity of being very arid, and its mountains, particularly in this region, called La Quebrada de Mahuaca, are mostly composed by a changing ranges of colors. In addition, unlike flatter regions or the large urban centers of the country, it represents a greater cultural connection with the native peoples who inhabit the region. It is an isolated town, cornered and surrounded by mountains, and to this day is still one of my favorite places ever. In December 2013, the first of the two times that I visited, my trip began there, in the north. Argentinian Northwest, and it continued north, crossing the border and visiting the sibling countries of Bolivia and Peru. This was my third backpacking trip, already with the conviction that photography was going to be my expressive resource while traveling, and the decision to travel as much as I can. As I advanced through the map, and my senses marvel at the constant of knowing new places, and witnessing situations out of ordinary, Recording and composing through the lens of a camera is a quite visceral need to me. In fact, this trip was what we can point out as the beginning, the germ of my current artistic search to connect photography and painting. Since my first exhibition on four paintings were made from this trip in between 2014 and 2019.
But let's go back March 2021. We had already decided with Jani, my partner, to come to Spain to venture into a new life. You can follow our path into Animas. On March the 2nd, I was doing the sighted survey, and two days later, I filmed the beginning of the process. The same week, on March the 8th, I made a first search for Buenos Aires Madrid plane tickets. The idea was surely to make a glass painting to maintain a creative space and personal connection among so much intensity and stress that the immigration process required. What was not planned was that my friend, Daniel Tamirano, would contact me to commission me a very special painting. At that moment, Diego had left us a few months ago, and my friend had thought on me for painting him as a tribute. I didn't have to think it about it much. It was a beautiful opportunity to pour into the canvas the anguish for his absence and the gratitude for his existence. So, given my imminent mood and with the need to sell or give away all my stuff and art belongings, or to be able to keep only a small few ones, I proposed to him to paint it on top over the death of Guevara a personal project that I started in 2017, which I painted very slowly in my free time, and that was more and more relegated due to work or commissions. In this way, he will win a larger painting for the same price, and I will give a new purpose to a canvas that I will not longer preserve. I love to talk about these two pieces that are so much connected to each other in many ways, but I'm getting off of topic. On March 11th, I record what will be the last photo, and on the 15th, I record the last video of the process painting in my studio in Chacarita, to begin working on the design of From the Mob, which I begin painting in April and finish at the end of August. On November the 30th, the last day in Buenos Aires, the painting was left unfinished and stored in the apartment where Graciela, the mother of my partner, went to live, and from that moment on became the faithful guardian of the painting. When I arrived to Spain, painting was relegated to the last place. Everything was about manage paperwork, look for a roof, get a job, start to have income in order to manage more residency paperwork, in order to, with more calm and time, find professional work and has that we liked and make us happy. 339 days later, on November the 4th, I set up my new studio in Mijas. And I inaugurated with a little house in the Rondo Valley. Until that moment, Photography had been my only source of expressive survival. Luckily, the trips were not long in coming, and during all the time, I created a lot of content for the new channel and for stock photography. If you are interested in knowing more about this, I leave you the link to the Two Animas channel. Almost at the same time that we move into our new home, into this one. The twist and turns of life presented us the opportunity to come back to Buenos Aires for Christmas in a flatting visit a little more than a year after having emigrated. With the certainty of having settled down and having set up the new studio, when I arrived to Buenos Aires, I recovered the Puma Marca painting and bring it back to continue it in Mijas. On January 25th, 2023, almost 11 months later, I record with this photo the continuation of the painting in my new studio, playing a bit, taking the same framing as the last one, in order to symbolize its temporal static state, while countless events of transformations occur to me, painting remain inherent. waiting to be continued, and it will be through the new brush strokes that the transmutation of those changes into a new way of connecting 
with the artistic process of the photo reinterpretation. During that time, I was following contemporary artists on social media that served as interpretation to try to develop a style that is a balance between my two pictorial needs. On the one hand, a more visceral one, working with a naturalistic technique on the use of color and light, linked to the learning that connects with a long-term satisfaction, and on the other, a more expressive one, with loose brush strokes, more linked to an impressionist imprint. Satisfaction is, in this case, present through the play between the hands and the tools. My two main sources of inspiration were Daisy Sims Kilditch and Mary Javits. I like not only to observe and analyze great artists in the art history, Social media gives us the possibility of having always a reference of fresh and real processes, far from academicism or idealization. The way to consume this, and not to be counterproductive to our own creative personal and professional processes, it's a challenge to talk about in another video. In total, there were 38 hours of painting. Five and a half hours in Buenos Aires and 32 and a half in Mijas. It was not the only work that I painted during that period, and in fact, it remained in the background a long time to make room for another pieces. But as I mentioned before, it became the symbol of a decided new productive stage. From now on, I'm going to focus my painting production by willfully linking it with my photographic production. Returning to this approach that previously provided me a framework where I felt more confident and balanced seems to be the right path for this stage. And who knows, perhaps it's that step path so crucial for any artist and that comfort zone so necessary in today's intense way of life. Soon I will be sharing this painting that is the only one that is unfinished so far and I want to be creating another survey to help me decide which painting I'm going to be painting next related to another form. Thank you for having come this far. I think that the most important thing is to have generated a bond of interest with someone that is on the other side. Uh, well, let's see you next time. If you are still around, a like and a subscription will really help me out in reaching more people.